What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing the best recipes for hearts and for buffs within this game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button. Join the Jeans community to stay up to date on all of my Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom content. But like I said, we got recipes for you guys today. And these recipes are bangers. Let me go into my meals real quick and just show you guys what I have in store for today's video so we got ourselves a big time heart one and then we got a lot of big buffs we got attack buff defense buff slip resistant buff uh stamina buff what else we got speed heat resistant swim speed up bloom we got it all we got cold resistant and then we got a uh, glow and last but not least we have stealth so we got 12 recipes for you guys we should just get right after it starting off with our first recipe which is going to be a full recovery heart and then a plus 25 additional heart recipe. We got ourselves a hearty fried wild greens. And this one is not a hard recipe. All you got to do is find some big hearty radishes. And those are kind of rare to find. But if you guys want to find them, obviously just look them up. I'm just going to be showing you guys recipes and showing you guys how to make these. So once you find some big hearty radishes, you are going to need five of them. That's it. Throw them inside the cooking container. And there you guys go. Full recovery plus 25 additional hearts. This is ridiculously strong. That is wild right there. I'm actually going to eat one real quick. I'm going to eat one right now. Just so you can see how many extra hearts I have. So I'm going to eat that for you guys. And now look at my hearts. That is just absurd. Five hearty radishes do the trick. For the second meal, we're going to be showcasing how to make a 30 minute plus three attack boost. And we'll show you the defense boost. We'll show you guys all these. But we're going to start here with the attack boost. And what you're going to need here is going to be the Razor Claw Crab. On top of that, a lot of these recipes use Dragon Horns. Because Dragon Horns give you the 30 minute boost. So if you need some Dragon Horns, you got to go farm the dragons. They're kind of tough. Look up a video on that. Get after it that way. But a lot of these recipes, I do use Dragon Horns. And if you don't have Dragon Horns, just don't use it. Add another like Razor Claw Crab. So for example, we're going to be using Razor Claw Crabs to actually make this attack boost. And where are my razor claw crabs? They are right here. Again, if you don't have horns, just add another razor claw crab. So I'm going to hold four of these. And then I'm going to go down to my dragon horns, which I have a ton of. I've been farming them, and I'm just going to hold one. The dragon horns allow the buffs to last longer. So we're going to get a 30 minute attack boost, which is absolutely amazing. That's why dragon horns are so good. And there it is the mighty seafood skewer. For the defensive one, it's pretty much the same thing, just a different crab. You go to the iron shell crab, you hold four of them, you can use any of these dragon horns any of them work even the light dragon horn and just throw it in there and there you guys go there is defense and attack boost for 30 minutes plus three the strongest boost you can get the next meal we're going to move on to is going to be the slip resistance so this one actually comes in clutch a lot considering when you're in the rain and you're climbing it's kind of a pain so having slip resistance is really really good i kind of forget how to make it so i'm just going to check the recipe and there it is. There's going to be three of the frogs alongside with a Baku Blin horn. So I'm going to go over to my frogs. Where are they at? I know I have a few extra of those frogs. There they are. They are the sticky frogs. We're going to hold four of them. And then on top of that, just throw a little bit of a Baku Blin horn in there to make it a nice little elixir. A lot of these you can make with meals, but some of them, like the slip resistance, you need to make an elixir. So for elixirs, you're going to need uh, the Baku Blin horn. So there is slip resistance. On to the next one, we got ourselves the Energizing Mushroom Skewer. And this is just going to refill your stamina bar. And I'm not even going to uh, cook it, but I'm just going to show you guys how to make it real quick. All you need is very, very simple, five stamina mushrooms, which you can find simply early into the game. I'll actually make it for you guys real quick. Just five stamina mushrooms. And the reason I picked this one for the best stamina energy boost up is because it is so simple. And stamina, when you're in the air and you got to make it, stamina mushrooms is just perfect for it. There's no need to make a crazy recipe for it. Moving on to our next meal, we got ourselves the cold resistance. And getting the cold resistance, all I used was, I believe, uh, we used, what do we use? Yeah, just spicy uh, peppers alongside with a dragon horn. So again, if you want to get the 30 minute boost, use the dragon horns. They are absolutely amazing. But if you do not have the dragon horns, because I know that they are a pain in the neck to get, then just add another like spicy pepper. But again, you will not get that 30 minute boost. 30 minute boost is only available when you use the dragon horns. And why can't I find my dragon horns? Oh, they're right here. So there we go. To make the cold resistant, four spicy peppers on top of a dragon horn. There you guys go. 30 minutes of cold resistance. Moving on to the heat resistant over here. 
30 minutes of that all you're going to need is going to be some chill shrooms and then again we're rocking out with a dragon horn so i'll hold a dragon horn it could be any dragon horn and i'm gonna go to my chill shrooms right here so dragon horn for them cook it up and there you go 30 minutes on the heat resistant which is wild it is wild these recipes are absolutely amazing so hopefully you guys do enjoy it moving on to the next one we got ourselves gloom resistance well it's not gloom you guys know when you touch like the gloom and like the stuff it just depletes your hearts and you cannot get them back this is going to be a recipe in order to actually grant you your hearts back that you lost so this is the sunny fried wild greens and for this one it's pretty simple but again it is another item that's kind of tough to get and they're going to be sundalions all you need is five of them throw them into a pan and there you guys go sunny fried wild greens love it love it love it moving on to the next one how many do we have left how many do we have left we did not do the swim one yet we have a, I think we only have a couple left because we did the top row we did the speed boost actually i don't think we did the speed boost we haven't done the speed boost so let's Let's do the speed boost for you guys. For speed boost, this one's pretty simple. I believe it is just, it is just fleet lotus seeds. And of course, I I sorted my thing on accident. But I believe this is just fleet lotus seeds, right? And it's horn. And that is correct. So in order to make the 30 minute plus three speed boost, all you need is the fleet lotus seeds, which aren't too bad to farm. They're just in trees. And on top of that, again, the dragon horn is going to be your best friend. So I'm going to throw that down. We're going to cook it up. And there you guys go 30 minutes of plus three speed boost insanely fast you can run around and get cooking after that next one is going to be the stealth and i had and stealth is one of my favorite ones considering you can sneak up on things and uh get a lot of materials and do a bunch of other things for it so when it comes to the stealth all you need is four silent princesses and on top of that a dragon horn so again you don't have the dragon horns just throw a bunch of uh silent princesses in there and Silent Princes aren't that hard to find. You kind of just have to go around like fairy fountains and stuff if you guys are looking for them. But I have 53 of them. You get a lot of them from uh, doing the uh, the Geoglyph quest. At the end of it, you get like 50 of them for free. But there you, go. there you guys go. 30 minutes of stealth. Boost it. Now, I believe that is all of the recipes. Unless I'm missing one, and I am. I did not do... Actually, I did not do two. We got to do the swim one, and we got to do this glow one. So, in order to do the swim one, this one's pretty simple. You just need splash fruits and uh dragon horn <laughs> again i'm gonna be like i said we use dragon horn a lot and i know these things are a pain to farm for me it took me so long to actually farm these things i was just farming them for like a whole day straight and got uh, maybe like 10 each but there you guys go swim speed up if you guys ever need that again it is one of those uh buffs that aren't really too valuable in the game but it's pretty cool to have with the final recipe we are going to use glow and what glow allows you to do is be bright you are going to glow and be bright and it's absolutely amazing especially when you are down in the depths so this recipe right here is going to be what is it it is just bright caps that is all it is and the bright caps are pretty simple to get i feel like if you played through this game a little bit you should have a decent amount of bright caps like i already have like 30 i'm just gonna hold five of them you don't need any dragon horns for this one and then you just cook them up so if you're going down in depths i'm telling you guys right now cook some bright caps you get glow and when you put it on yourself you will light up the room but i believe that is all the recipes that i wanted to show you guys let me just make sure we made the hearty fried wild greens gave you guys the hearts we showed you guys how to get the uh the gloom restore we got ourselves a stamina bar restore an attack boost a defense boost cold resistant heat resistant speed up swim speed up stealth glow and then on top of that we got ourselves slip resistant for 12 amazing recipes but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that bigger subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody